Here we go. Yeah, we are leaving London, going to the airport, then to Ascension. By Opa, of course, by <laughs> We've had a good time here in London, but um, now it's time to um, get out of this cold grey weather and have some fun. Leaving the centre of London to Bryce Norton Military Base. We've got an hour and a half's drive here, and then a nine hour flight. No business class though. <laughs> So, we finally arriving, huh? So what's the plan now? We go check in, get the bags. We'll see, we are over From Ascension Islands, I love to go famous Ascension Island Pier. We've just walked down, we're just ready to go for our first dive. It's the afternoon of the day we've arrived. And uh, well, this is the welcome party here on Ascension. And we look at uh, what we have to expect. I just hang on one sec. Yeah, 111. Put that other nut. It's 150. 111 kilos on the dot, right on the mark. We are ready for action. Ascension Island dreaming. It's been a while. Been thinking about it. We're doing it. You know, we've just arrived here in Ascension Island, and already we're pulling the birds. Oh yeah. <laughs>
day one. It's our first afternoon. We arrived this morning here with Eric Allard from Extreme Blue Water Spearfishing and his um, client Alistair. One uh, nice big yellowfin is feeding on the, the chub. Unfortunately, just missed him and he's nice and calm. Hopefully, we're going to get him. Tell me about that first oh. shot. <laughs> so straight, straight over the back of the fish. Horrible. Then we thought, this is going to be so easy. <laughs> and then it became difficult. Now we've got some small fish in the chump slip. The big one, he seems to have uh, just taken a break. Well, we're here on top of Green Mountain. We're cruising around for today around Ascension and we're here with the famous Stetson. In Green Mountain, is it a volcano? <laughs> yes, Old yes, volcano? yes. Most of the South Atlantic Islands are, was made by fire. Uh, and uh, Ascension, uh, you can see still, it's a young island. It's, um, it's, it's about a million years old, apparently, whereby St. Helena, Yes, 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 that's young. Where St. Helena is about between 15 and 18 million years old. Um, so, so if you look at Ascension, you, you can still see like some of the volcanoes and the, uh, the lava flows are like, um, it only happened yesterday, years ago. It, it, it was very barren uh, because there was nothing here to, uh, to collect the mist. All of the mist that were blowing over, uh, went out to sea. So during um, uh, Joseph Hooker and Charles uh, Darwin, who came through here, also noticed that this island needed uh, the, uh, this valuable water. And uh, 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 Joseph Hooker went on to um, work uh, with the military that were here at the time to um, introduce lots and lots of um, plants to uh, ascension from around the world. And they were all planted for something or other, like the trees higher on the mountain was for misinterception, the bigger trees. The, tr uh, the bushes and low, low, uh, low shrubbery was, was to stop erosion and keep the dampness there. And that's what you're actually looking at now, um, uh, a man-made forest on Green Mountain. So how many, how many, obviously they're dormant volcanoes, but how many are on, on this island? I think it's about 30, 30 odd. I'm not sure about that though, but there's a lot around. So you can imagine what it was like when those were blasting. The, the waters around the Ascension are so clear and, and uh, there's so much, so much fish life uh, out there. But yeah, I've seen some really big fish. I, I love uh, seeing the big fish, and I like to leave them alone out there. Although I do fish in, uh, to eat. There's a lot, there's a lot of uh, black fish, so I, um, what we call the trigger fish. So it's understandable why we have so much fish, because there's so much food there for them, for them to eat, you know? And uh, tell us about these, we see these signs on the road, these crabs crossing, what's that all about? Yeah, on the mountain as well. Uh, this is the habitat for the for our land crab, our indigenous land crab. And a certain time of the year, they make their way down to the beaches. So we like to, um, to tell visitors like yourself about it. Be careful of our land crabs. Don't, don't knock our land crabs down. You probably don't realize it, but the, uh, the, those big land crabs that you, you know, people intend to run over, He's probably older than yourself. And obviously Ascension's a nesting ground for the green turtles. I mean, that must be quite an experience. Oh gosh, yes. When you think of uh, what's been happening for hundreds of years, you know, these monsters uh, coming all the way from Brazil, um, finding this little dot in the middle of the Atlantic, uh, laying their eggs, 
and then turning around and a little bit like the land crab actually, because he takes his time all the way from the mountain, lays his eggs or spore, and then um, return again to the mountain, just like the turtles do exactly the same. But they don't return, you know, for 20 to 30 years. And we don't see them again. I'll never see the turtles, really, that uh, the babies that I saw leave these beaches here, I don't think I'll never see them come back because it, apparently they takes about 25 to 30 years. Thank you.